guys welcome or welcome back to my channel if you guys are new my name is hannah and today we're going to be making some super cool coconut shell necklaces and we're going to be painting using markers hammering sanding so without any further ado let's go outside and start our coconut shell necklaces Okay, we got the coconut shell. We got a bunch of pieces here. Some of them, like these, way too small to do anything with. So, and this, like these are too small. You want pieces like this big. So now I have this piece. I'm gonna smash it and hopefully get a couple nice pieces. The one you know it has like those three thingies on top, we're probably not gonna use this. So when you're doing this, think about how big you would want this to be on your neck. You might like this like big size. And don't forget when we're gonna sand this and we're gonna make it really smooth or as smooth as you want it to be. And then it will look really nice. So like this one is gonna be a really cool necklace. Okay, so I have my pile of coconut shells and I'm gonna pick a couple really cool looking ones and then I got my sandpaper and I'm going to sand them. So my first piece is done and sanded the way I want it. I'm gonna pick out two more cool pieces that I wanna turn into necklaces. I think I'm gonna go for this little one. Okay, so I'm done this one and now I'm going to pick one more. So this is the next one I'm gonna do. It looks really cool. It has like a, a cut, which I think is gonna look really cool. So I'm, now I'm gonna sand this one. Okay, so this is what I have so far. I could, this was supposed to be a moon. I messed it up, so I made a circle and then put dots. I don't really know what happened. This one, I'm gonna leave just like this natural. And on this one, I did a little heart. Um, but again, my paintbrush, this paintbrush is way too big. So the heart turned out too big and too thick. So that's how it turned out. The last step is putting in the holes and then the string. I'm going to use my dad's drill, but I'm going to wait for him. All right, guys. So I'm back inside and I have one, two, three, four. I think Lilo just licked one of them. We have this diamond one, which I'm going to leave natural. And then we have this one, which was a complete fail. But, no, Munchkin, don't, no, don't do this. So then we have this one, which I'm going to try and fix right now. Then we have this one, which looks like a heart, which I thought was really neat. I'll have to eat it. What are you going to do with this? You're going to break your teeth. So I have this pen set, and it came with a white jelly roll, which hopefully I'm going to try and fix this. I found this on the floor. This is what I did. It kind of looks like some kind of peacock. But now I'm going to draw a moon in there. So 
so this is where it might go completely downhill but I'm gonna try it anyway so it was going good until I filled in the moon don't do this kids bad idea <coughs> she finally settled down right there oh look at that little head boop, 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 boop. okay I think that's decent now we have to wait for my touch up to dry okay Finished product. Three, two, one, boom. Hey, if you push too hard, this little drill bit will just break in half. <laughs> Alrighty, so here I'm going to show you guys how I tie my necklaces. So first you want to have your strings even on both ends. And then you're going to do a simple tie just like you would tie your shoes. But just that first tie and you do not need to do it twice. Just do it one time. Then when you tie it around your neck, do this kind of knot. Because this way if you have leather string or anything like that, then it won't come undone.